Today, classes are canceled again in the nation's third largest school district. Chicago Public Schools and the Chicago Teachers Union are at odds over remote learning. In an interview with News Nation anchor Nicole Burley on Rush Hour, uh, asked the U.S. Secretary of Education, Miguel Cardona, about kids going back to class. Well, look, as a parent and as an educator, I know our children learn best in the classroom. And I can tell you, as someone who was uh, there trying to open schools uh, before we had vaccines and before we had the access to testing we have today, uh, that it was important to do it then and it's even more important to do it now. Our students suffered enough um, and I think we have the, I know we have the tools to get our schools safely open. Chicago's mayor and school leaders also believe that students should be back in the classroom and they are signaling a crackdown on the teachers union. It's become quite contentious. Kelsey Kernstein's here with the latest details. Well, Adrian, earlier in the pandemic, Chicago, other school districts across the nation, they went remote. And with surging cases of COVID-19 again, many teachers don't want to risk it. The city, though, here in Chicago, says either come back or else. Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot is not relenting, saying she's willing to not pay teachers for what she calls an unlawful strike. In an exclusive interview with our News Nation station in Chicago, WGN, Mayor Lightfoot says teachers need to get back in the classroom. This is not a time for us to abandon the data and the science. We've got to lean into it. The safest place for kids to be in this pandemic is in the classroom. The Chicago Teachers Union met with school and city administrators to work out a compromise. Educators say they don't feel safe in schools unless kids test negative first. Trouble is, test kits are in short supply. Look, <laughs> as a um, teacher and a parent, I saw Chicago's top doctor stand next to the mayor and tell all of us that the Chicago Department of Public Health doesn't have any more rapid tests. All we're asking is that we work in safe and fair conditions, but don't keep using us as sacrificial lambs. But the city's health experts say the science is clear and schools are safe. The system has spent $200 million on COVID mitigation, including new ventilation systems and plexiglass dividers. Parents, however, very divided on the issue. To keep kids out of school seems kind of ridiculous. If you have a child with special needs, they can't do it remotely. Mayor Lightfoot says her leverage is limited. She can withhold pay, but not fire teachers who don't come to class. So Lightfoot asks parents to speak up. We really need parents' voices um, in this um, debate because the CTU doesn't get the right to take the choice uh, from parents. Now, there is no new plan yet. Another meeting between the Teachers Union and the city is scheduled for this afternoon. Now, you might be wondering, why, why does the school administrators not just give in and go remote? Well, they say it's because online learning isn't as effective and it's too much of a burden to parents. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.